Hi, this is Catherine Warman Kern, co-founder of Commodity. Now, Commodity is a place where innovative entrepreneurs and corporations come to work, to meet, sometimes to network, and once in a while to collaborate and discover an innovation that they couldn't accomplish on their own. It's hard. That's why it's rare. It takes a lot of time and it can be messy, but it's worth it. The reward is the magic that happens when different perspectives come together. We're motivated and inspired to figure out a method to improve the odds of success so that more of the folks who come to Commodity can enjoy the rewards of collaborative innovation. Now, some people say that the culture of collaboration is something from the past in business and doesn't exist anymore. Tell me this isn't a government operation. It just isn't a contingency we've remotely looked at. Those CO2 levels are going to be getting toxic. Well, I suggest you gentlemen invent a way to put a square peg in a round hole. Rapidly. Okay, people, listen up. People upstairs, handed us this one, and we got to come through. We got to find a way to make this fit into the hole for this. Using nothing but that. Let's get it organized. Okay, okay, let's build a filter. Maybe get some coffee going too. Well, if they can fit a square peg into a round hole, then certainly it's worth it for us to try to figure out how to give people with a mission and one room an operation or a method to find more collaborative innovation. Another example from the past is when one man thought of the idea of actually putting together those visual thinkers with verbal thinkers who think completely differently. Bill Birnbach added an entire new creative force to advertising by putting the art director in the same room as the copywriter. That had never been done before. When Birnbach said, hey, art director, me copywriter, you guys work it out together from a blank sheet of paper. Well, when you look at those ads that were written before he put the art directors and the copywriters together in the same room, it does remind you of how cluttered websites look today, doesn't it? So it certainly would be worth it to try to bring together these different ways of thinking into one room with a blank piece of paper. Now, here's how somebody's trying to do it, Google, today. Usually, as companies get bigger, they find it really hard to have small, innovative projects. Typically, what we've uh, embodied this is the 20% time. And the idea is for 20% of your time, well, you can do what you think is the best thing to do. Uh, which many other things in the world also have come out of this. Mendel, who was supposed to be teaching high school students, actually, you know, discovered the laws of genetics um, in, as a hobby. Basically. to help Googlers make time to work on their crazy ideas and what we learned was that building a space can facilitate that. You should create that exact environment which helps you to achieve that. One thing that was an accident is we packed in way too many people into this space. So they were like literally elbow to elbow and what happened is they kind of just had to collaborate. If you can't ignore the person next to you, you may as well work with them. I think that's really important to get people with different backgrounds, with different interests, with different roles together working on a specific challenge and figure out a solution because that can really challenge your own assumptions um, of the problem but help you to find really interesting solutions and creative ways of solving something. So Google's doing it, importantly, 
with dedicating some time to experimentation in a collaborative environment. So how could we improve the chances and not just rely on accident and the fact that everybody's working together in the same company, improve the chances of collaborative innovation? To that, we turn to one of our members who was in the Special Operations Forces and share some insight with us. Well, it takes respect for capabilities over titles or a horizontal structure. It takes the time, as in the case of Google, to get it right instead of doing it over. It takes deep generalists. You know what you don't know and when to turn to someone else. So you have a 360 degree perspective and that gives you a way to bring together elite egos and teams with a place, a mission, a blank page, and dedicated time. So how can we apply that to simplify today's very complex ecosystem of often entrepreneurs who don't work in the same company, obviously, or corporations that want to bring together different divisions who typically don't work very well together? or perhaps a company who wants to collaborate with their customers to develop better products and solutions. We figure there's at least five dimensions to these complex ecosystems. There's the humans, the different kinds of ideas that are needed or could be developed, the different assets that the makers can take advantage of, the different steps in communication that have to happen to succeed, and the different kinds of challenges to evaluating the results so one can identify what's really sustainable. That's five dimensions and three factors. Five to the third is at least 125 ways to fail. So how can we create a structure that is collaborative in nature and takes advantage of what everyone knows to accelerate the process and get it right? That's the mission of the CoLab, to essentially connect the humans, to co-create ideas, to co-work in an environment where they aren't interrupted by a lot of external factors, to develop communications that actually convince, and to understand the results so that they can continue the momentum of the success they do have. That's how we're developing a collaborative innovation process that will stick instead of coming for one day or one week and then getting back to your real business and putting that uh, those ideas in a file folder this is a process that's designed to actually build on ideas get them done in an efficient amount of time and be sustainable so that's what we're trying to do at camaraderie to create and give more of our customers the benefits of collaborative innovation, that magic that happens when different perspectives come together. Thanks for listening.